Oh, good morning. So today is day two of uh, yeah training to get my skiing up to elite so I can pass at level four. And I thought I'd uh, recap what I did yesterday. I couldn't really film what it did feel right. Um, but we started a day, and Henry said the primary goal is developing accuracy, accuracy of movement which I thought it was a splendid way to start since most of us had uh, yeah, not skied yet this year well I had done 8 days of freestyle skiing it's not the same look at these ones, they just sneak up on you because all vehicles here in Zermatt are electric so accuracy of movement, so what do we do? we started with, despite we're all pretty good skiers started with something as nice and basic as just railroad drills that's when you just roll the ankles and the knees a wee bit to gently carve down a rather flat pitch that felt really nice then we moved on to really like putting the brain inside of the lower legs and even the feet we trying to really feel where in your body you do this movement like I was for example feeling like pressing down the big toe the outside leg the muscles used then go up into the ankle and the ankle is engaged by kind of the outside of uh, the lower leg on the outside the ski then and then I had a little epiphany, I was like well what do I do with the inside ski, which muscles do you use there? So I do, that was much harder because I realized I do almost all the steering with the outside leg, which makes sense, you have more pressure on it but I had never really completely contemplated like what is going on in the inside skis boot and what I'm doing there I'm like okay going towards that little toe okay that felt like it was kind of engaging the calf muscle a little bit more and uh, yeah before both legs it kind of moves up into the thighs once you get into a bit more carvy or get up on a higher edge angle so that was nice and then we did a bunch of short turns started slowly tried to feel early edge angle and discovered my short turns are still that are not that great I was a little bit disappointed and uh, we'll see if I get some video of them today it would be cool to show you guys All right now I'm almost by the lift here so ciao really nice. Part two of the warm-up I'm gonna do some angry short turns, the happy ones. Oh, now I've been doing something I really struggle make myself do, but to do like one leg skiing with hops. Let's see if I can do it with only one pole. I think it'll be hard. I need this stuff. Good Henry's on my case.
How's the short trips coming along? Slowly. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel too. Yeah, it's tough sometimes. It's tough. But I think we've got way better since yesterday. I concur. Also, we uh, struggled a little bit yesterday. Kind of first time doing a bit performancey short trips, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. But I'm really, in Swedish, say polet them from there. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, that yeah. one. When, uh, feel, you know also. the feeling when something just starts to make a bit sense? Yeah. I'm starting to feel like it's now transition pretty low on the heel. The skis are kind of pinging away. Yeah, they accelerate away. And as I kind of tip down the hill or topple down the hill, uh -huh. get on edge, kind of curve a little bit, and then just blend in a little bit of rotation on the skis. It's starting to feel pretty good. Yeah, exactly. No, oh. it's looking good. It's looking really good. What are you, what's your issue? What are you working on? Um, I think I've been been thinking about things wrong <laughs> oh, no. uh, you know over complicating it and I think it's just a matter of focusing on on one thing that's gonna make the the most difference for me mm -hmm. uh, and I think I just want to focus on rolling onto the edge kind of making a sturdy platform at the top of the turn and then not being afraid like you say to let them go because I've always been like hanging on to the skis at the bottom like so. standing more exactly yeah. straight been, above like, them. just hanging <laughs> hanging on <laughs> uh, but yeah let them accelerate away basically. Yeah. I kind of picture myself flying a Harry Potter's Nimbus 3000, 2000 <laughs> and kind of hanging off it with one foot on it kind of that's kind of how it feels to do an aggressive short turn I'm gonna start thinking about that and let them ping away from you and then you do a turn and then you get like back on the saddle uh, yeah yeah no exactly it's like, like less than one third through the turn yeah it's, yeah. it's cool it is cool all right do you want to show some sweet turns so, film yeah yeah we could do can we Yeah, girl. That was great. How do you feel? I can see myself in the camera. Yeah. Uh, I didn't love it. Why not? Um, lost my outside foot a couple of times. Yeah. I think it looked nice. It had a nice and calm upper body. I would like to have that. I don't have that. <laughs> you want to pay me to teach you? That's all good. Well, you're an instructor, yeah. yeah. What do I need to do different to ski more like you? About try and think about tensing my core mm -hmm. when I initiate, like, when I start the run, and then with my pole plants, I try and make sure that I'm pole planting like directly in front of me and not coming with any shoulder movement because that can cause your whole body to rotate. So, should I tighten my core and pole plant more with purpose directly down the hill? Yeah, try and really like pole plant directly downwards. That sounds good. Thank you for that. <laughs> right now I'm going to try to show you some nice carby turns. Oh wait wait wait. Oh it's going yet. <laughs> some of them I'm going to blend in a little bit of rotation of the feet because that's what I'm working on kind of. While feeling this heat jetting away from me like losing the Nimbus 2000. <laughs> Let's go. Many little uh, feelings and movements I'm trying to implement in my short turns, and due to them being short turns, there's not a lot of time to get them right. 
And now on the last run here, Henry was filming me. It felt great before the steeper pitch. Um, something kind of just pullet and fulner, as we say in Swedish, uh, where you just bing, you kind of start getting something. Where I managed to both feel a nice low transition, tip in the knees to start edging and gripping the snow early, while at the same time, like softening the inside leg because the inside leg has been getting a bit too much weight and it's making it a bit jittery and strange so that felt pretty good I'm not sure if you can see it on this video here but maybe you can I hope so hmm felt great up there but let's see if I can uh, make it look even better for Henry's camera this time fingers crossed yeah, yeah, let me say, I have something good to say there. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. Oh, this is Henry. Hi. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> that run, Jens, uh, there was some good stuff going on there. Some earlier grip, on, especially on the left leg. Uh -huh. And generally, that was, that was a good run. It was a good run to finish the day on, I think. Yeah, you got me to focus on some stuff that's really starting to work. Like, let the skis run forward, tip the knees, uh, such a grip, and your tip on lifting the inside leg really cured some of my inclination habits. I think you're just starting it. with that. I think you're starting to get more of the being able to roll on, keeping that, that inside uh -huh. ski out of the way, and just increase the edge angle, getting more edge earlier in the turn. Yeah, so the skis are gripping earlier. And then the whole thing is more rounded. You're not like pushing the ski away, especially on that on the left foot. Yeah, so exactly. That's cool. some good stuff. And also, yeah, I'll, I'll let you coach the others and I'll wrap up to the camera myself. The things you made me think about. You'll be on the camera later anyway. <laughs> Bye, Andrew. Bye. Thanks. Yeah. Feels good. Now I watch a video or one of them and it's kind of cool. It makes sense that, you know, he, he told me this morning to kind of soften the inside leg or even lift it up or however I wanted to think about it and now I'm kind of thinking lift it up and obviously it makes me angulate more to put more pressure on the outside ski because if I don't angulate I would fall over because the inside leg kind of works like those little extra wheels kids use or when they learn to bike to get two main wheels and then like two support wheels whatever they are called I removed those ones basically when I almost lift the in. I told you. So that was the best turns of the day. What was good about them? Um, I was getting a lot of like reaction force from the ski. Yeah. Because I was rolling on like rolling on earlier, committing to it, and really moving from foot to foot. Mm -hmm. And like the result of that is sometimes you can get like quite a lot of rebound. Yeah. And then I had a couple of like airborne edge changes because <laughs> I wasn't like prepared I guess for the for the force. You kind of all it out of it like bending the tail yeah. of the ski. But that's exciting isn't it? It feels yeah. fun. Yeah it feels, feel, feels more fun than a pedestrian turn yeah. So you feel your progress today? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm getting back to where I was at last end of last season. Yeah Slowly. that's how I feel too. Yeah. Getting slowly back to last season's best day, maybe. Maybe. But slowly, we skied for two days. That's yeah. pretty fast. Yeah. Uh, good job. First one for improving. How was your last run? It was better, thank you. I, uh, I let it go in the immortal worlds of Elsa. Well, how did you mean let it go? Oh, you just yeah, went do you remember me saying, yeah, yeah, I wasn't hanging on to it the same at the end of the turn. So you would like the Harry Potter broom thing? You like? Yeah. Blast the Nimbus three thousand. Whatever yeah. it's called. Nice. Exactly so. So you're happy about the last run? Yes, I had a fun time, regardless. <laughs> like um, when I did the my level three technical exam, I almost failed on my short turns at the end of the day. But what saved it was like these the feedback I was getting didn't go into my mind, and I was like, fuck it. I'm just gonna send it now. I failed this anyway, and I just went blasting down and let whatever I had learned that week just be there or wouldn't be. And then the, the examiners, they were kind of laughing and went, told me, why did you not ski like that earlier? Yeah. 
and uh, said, go and show us that you can do that again. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just got to give it maximum effort, haven't you? Like regardless of, like when you get to that point, you just need to put it all in and, yeah, and hope it's there. It. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Don't look back, leave it all on the track. Ooh. <laughs> we'll, leave it, we'll leave it at that. See you in the next one. Ciao. <laughs>